first news, I've pretty much got all my uh, water pipes and hoses in place. Four million Jubilee clips, all in stainless, obviously. Mm. So I've just got to rivet a few uh, stainless uh, hose clamps to the underside of the car, and then we are good to go. I tell you what, you're going to find the next bit of film riveting. <laughs> yeah, okay, not funny. Right. Here we go. Far from home, traveling on. A broken heart, I carry a So, my friends, that is the water pipes done. Very pleased with that. Finally, I've got a working, well, I don't know if it works yet, but it, I'm sure it will, water system. I'm going to do a more in-depth um, vid on the, the water system in my next episode, because a lot of people have been asking about it. So I'll be doing that next. What I've decided to do is make the engine look a bit nicer. Although I've kind of uh, painted the block, I uh, wanted to paint these uh, fuel rails and I think that looks uh, pretty good. I've also painted some other bits and bobs. I'll show you what I've done. Alternator pulley. <laughs> Chopped the bits and bobs off of this uh, power steering bracket here and kind of giving it a nice curved edge there, curved on the back. So just got rid of excess material I didn't need. I've also sprayed up some other bits and bobs that are gonna be going back on the engine. That's the uh, alternator mounting bracket. So let's get these back on the car and see how it looks, eh? So it's the next day and my bits and pieces are finally dry. So uh, let's get them back on the car. So there we go, looking a lot better than it did, that's for sure. Just tidied things up really nicely. It's not gonna win uh, the Concorde Elegance, but uh, that's okay. Just doing a little bit of work to the expansion tank uh, bracket that I made. I've had to move these uh, holes across, doop, and weld up the originals, which were there and there. I've welded some end caps on here and here, and here as well, just to kind of make it look a bit more finished. It's a bit industrial looking, but uh, it'll be right for now. But I kind of plan to change that at some point in the future, along with this. It's not the nicest looking uh, expansion tank in the world, but uh, that's what I've got for now. Oh, it's the next day. I sprayed all that up last night, so uh, it's ready to uh, go back on the car. Let's do it. I've also bought is a, uh, a coolant hose. I'll show you where I was gonna put that. So before I had this kind of convoluted pipe uh, hose, pipe hose, hose coming from here uh, up to the expansion tank. But look at the angle on that. It's a pretty, uh, pretty right angle actually, which isn't gonna help the flow of 
coolant. So what I've done, I've bought a proper 90 degree um, hose. I'm hoping that will kind of just just help the flow a little bit better. Oh, after all that, I've had to uh, fit a hose reducer. So it fits on that uh, expansion tank outlet, which is 12 mil and that's 15. So uh, <laughs> after all that, I've chopped that hose up. Looks all right though. It's got Viper Performance written on there. So that's at least an extra 20 horsepower. So that's the top end pretty much finished in terms of hoses and things like that. Mm -hmm.